strawberries. We're gonna look at the research on their effects on diabetes, cancer, arthritis, and depression. Are there actually benefits? Are these just myths? We're actually gonna look at the scientific studies. Hey everybody, Chad Cruiser here with Health and Homestead. Who doesn't like to eat a fresh strawberry? Now they're nice, you know, at the store, but how special is it to walk into your own garden and, and pluck a strawberry, a bowl full of strawberries and have those for breakfast? Now, you may not even have a garden, but you can have a pot of them growing in your house, on your porch, various different places. But let's look at the research. The first study we're gonna look at is actually depression the effect of strawberries on depression or even strawberry plants on depression for that matter. And the first study we're looking at is actually a study that was done on rodents. Now, this particular study, they gave rodents, mice, strawberries after being in a stressful situation. And the ones who had strawberries had actually lowered their levels of stress or anxiety or depression. Animal studies don't always turn out the way that we would hope them to in human beings. So this doesn't necessarily prove anything, but this next study was done on humans and this is absolutely fascinating. Here's the study here on the psychophysiology and cognitive effects on strawberry plants on people in isolated environment. So this is just simply looking at the strawberry plant, not even eating the strawberry. Researchers have found that astronauts are more prone to suffer from negative psychological problems like depression. Could it be that this is in part from being separated from nature and the natural world around us? Research has shown that plants can lower anxiety and increase happiness. And I actually have a whole video about how spending time in nature can actually enhance your cognitive ability, your mental health, and even your memory. And at the end of this video, I'll make sure to have a link. You want, If you haven't seen that video, you don't want to miss it. But to test this out, to see if strawberry plants could enhance mental health, they had people in a simulated space station called the Lunar Palace One. And they were experiencing long duration isolated experiment. And they were to spend 15 minutes simply looking at strawberry plants. And afterward they tested and they found that salivary cortisol levels, which is a stress hormone, and heart rate were lowered along with tension and anxiety after spending 15 minutes looking at strawberry plants, just looking at the plants. Now you might be thinking, well, uh, I'm not an astronaut, but we're living in a time where people are more isolated than almost ever in history. I mean, along with what we just went through in the last year, there was a lot of isolation. People are at home, they're often alone, or even if they're not alone, they're in the house with their family, but they're really just not interacting. And often very few people are actually spending time out in nature, like in places like this, out in a garden. And could it be that we were designed, we were literally designed to be interacting with a garden right from the beginning, right? And now, as we are separated from these things, it's making us more prone to suffer from anxiety, depression, and these kind of negative cognitive issues. And so could simply spending some time looking at a plant actually increase your levels of happiness. Now this next one has specifically to do with diabetes. And here's a massive study that was done with over 100,000 people looking at various fruits. And actually almost all fruit actually lowers your chances of type 2 diabetes, except for uh, this first one here, which is some kind of melons can actually increase it for about half of people. But the rest of fruit actually significantly lowers your chances of having type 2 diabetes. But what about strawberries in particular? In the Women's Nurses Health Study, what they found is that women who ate at least two servings of strawberries a week had 10% lower chance of having type 2 diabetes. Now, this is a, just an a, association and, uh, you know, this correlation is not always causation, but in general, we're seeing things like berries are a perfect fruit for diabetics, but actually most fruits are actually beneficial in the long run for type 2 diabetics. Pain. 
arthritis pain, osteoarthritis. Let's look at the actual research on arthritis and strawberries. Osteoarthritis is the most prevalent form of arthritis. So researchers took overweight people with arthritis and did a randomized crossover trial to see the effects of 50 grams or 1.76 ounces of freeze-dried strawberries versus a placebo and its impact on inflammation and arthritis. So what is a randomized crossover trial? Now a crossover trial is basically you have a group of people and instead of just dividing them into two groups and giving one group the strawberries and the other group the placebo, you actually give everybody at one point the placebo and then you switch them over. Uh, there's a washout period where they have a time where they kind of take some time off and then they have another time period where they have the actual either the you know strawberries or the placebo. So they're switching back and forth. What this shows is because often people can say well maybe it works for one person and it doesn't work for another and that can be true but a crossover trial can kind of help to avoid that mistake in a study. And so that's what they did here. They gave the people both the placebo and the freeze-dried strawberries to see its effect on their arthritis. And what they discovered is this, you know, 1.75 ounces of strawberries, it lowered their levels of interleukin-6, which is a marker of inflammation, and it also lowered their levels of pain in these individuals, specifically while they were taking the strawberries. So there's something about strawberries. Now, freeze-dried strawberries, have you ever had them? They're unbelievably good. I mean, it's hard to believe, because a strawberry is so wonderful just as it is fresh, but when you freeze-dry them, they're like unbelievable, like a, a strawberry candy explosion in your mouth. So it's like, how could it be that freeze-drying it actually makes it better? Uh, you know, one of the fruits that actually almost tastes better is strawberries when it comes to freeze drying them. So eating them freeze dried is great. Now I'm, I'm guessing they'd find the very same results eating them fresh, but you'd have to, I mean, this is probably like close to a pound of strawberries a day. And you may think who eats a pound of strawberries a day? I uh, often do actually, <laughs> literally. I love strawberries and I, I eat ridiculous amounts of fruit. I mean, ridiculous amounts of fruit. Uh, it'd blow your mind. And um, it, it is amazing. It's helped me with joint pain. And so, I mean, literally, it's gotten rid of almost all of my joint pain almost all of the time. I absolutely love it. Now, this next study to me is really literally the most mind-blowing of all the studies. Probably one of the most mind-blowing studies on food and its impact on health altogether. It's the effect of strawberries on esophageal cancer, cancer of the esophagus. Here's the actual study. And it's a randomized trial of freeze-dried strawberries in patients with precancerous lesions of the esophagus. And patients in this particular study, they all had either mild or moderate precancerous lesions, and they were given 30 grams, this is 1.5 ounces, or 60 grams, 2.1 ounces, of freeze-dried strawberries. And those who consumed 60 grams, or 2.1 ounces, the growth of the cancer was reversed in at least 80% of the people, and 52% of the people fully got rid of their cancer by eating around 2 ounces of freeze-dried strawberries. So this is absolutely incredible. So people may be able to actually reverse their cancer of the esophagus. And people with cancer of the esophagus, it has a tremendously high death rate. Like you have a chance of living five years with, with cancer of the esophagus. It's like less than 15% of people are going to be able to live over five years once they have this cancer. And yet 80% of them can begin to reverse it within six months. And and over 50% of them will fully, fully reverse it. This is like mind blowing. And so this is something that, number one, it tastes amazing. So if you are forcing your poor old self to eat two ounces of freeze dried strawberries every day, I mean, you would rejoice with exceeding joy. I mean, it's just so wonderful to eat freeze dried strawberries. Now, freeze dried strawberries are not the cheapest thing in the world, but neither is cancer surgery or medication or all the various things that you would do for cancer. So this is unbelievable, the opportunity to help somebody out with cancer. Now, they've, they've looked at this, you may say, well, what about breast cancer? The good news is they've actually found that it can help fight breast cancer in 
mice. So we don't know if it really works in humans. And I'm not saying it works in humans. I have no idea. Uh, we haven't proven that yet, but it works in mice. But hopefully it has the effects in other areas in the human body also. By the way, here on Health and Homestead, we like to look at the actual research, not just what blogs and what people say about is beneficial to your health. We like to look at the actual research. And if you want to know more about these things, and I'm going to have, have upcoming videos on how to plant them, the three different ways to plant strawberries, that is from seeds, that is from dividing the crowns, and that is also from runners. So we're going to be showing how to do that in each case all the best. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button. God bless and have a fantastic day.